back for a tier list. We have not had a tier list video in months. But I felt like I had to bring it back. And the reason why I've done it this time is because we're going through a bit of a, a difficult transition in Fortnite. It's been a bit of a, a rough season so far. There's still time to re like bring it back and make it a good season. But currently we're going through a tough one. So I wanted to rank all of the seasons that I have been involved in. Strictly from the start to the end. Alright? Where I've completed the battle pass. There's been a few of these other seasons that you'll see are non-applicable non right now. That I have played. But I I don't have enough kind of knowledge on the seasons to be able to really give somebody a proper opinion. So for, for the time being of this and for the, for the sake of this video, I'm going to strictly go from Chapter 3, Season 2, when I started playing regularly on a weekly basis. Alright? But make sure to give this a like, share it to a friend, and give me a big bag of subscribes, and I will see you soon. Alright, guys? JB dog. to free season two i can't remember all of the names to these uh, recordings uh these seasons i remember a few but not all of them um this was the first season and, and i won't lie to you it, i loved it this was the first season that they added um zero building like full time they did add it in the season before which is this this season right here but and i did play it a little bit but not a lot so again i'm i won't be using that season but this season all i came in i came in about halfway through this season uh, i did complete the battle pass this was the battle pass uh with dr strange uh in it and it was pretty damn awesome that that is for sure um it's been so long, but I, I just remember playing this game like every day. Like there wasn't enough challenges for me to do. I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. I, like for chapter three for me personally was just so good as well. Like I really, really enjoyed chapter three. So for me, I'm gonna put this season in B. It was may I may I probably should have put it in higher, but for me. It was kind of just kind of like the entry for me to be playing Fortnite on a regular basis because the next season in five in which was chapter three season three was arguably one of my favorite seasons ever it's not everyone's cup of tea but for me it was the memory of of going on an update day my very first update day was Fortnite. here yeah, it was like two years ago whenever it were and playing this game like, it was just so good, and like seeing the map changes and seeing and being able to enjoy the regular update things that people have probably already had for multiple years on Fortnite. I've, I, t I, t I came into Fortnite very late, um, so I didn't get to experience this, but it was such a big deal to me. Uh, I personally love this season. I'm putting this season up at the top. They did they did the vibing challenges every week that I love the vibing challenges. They added so many decent POIs on this chapter, uh, on this season. They added uh, the roller coaster one, that sort of stuff. For me, oh, Fortnite was just better like then to what we've got now. I, I just massively prefer what we had then. Uh, and it's kind of been taken for granted a little bit. Uh, definitely then. I definitely took it for granted then and not realised kind of how good it were. But I, I missed Chapter 3 map. It was it was beautiful. Uh, this was the Chrome season. Um, I, I don't actually remember if the season was called Chrome or not. It, I thought it was cool. I thought, I thought what I liked about the season was towards the end of the season when they started like... They added a big POI that was a full Chrome POI. But what I liked is how they, how they have ever had a POI chrome or a POI was like kind of hovering above the chrome and that it kind of ver verified like changed between like every week and it just felt it made the game feel fresh I don't think like since this chapter it's been like that it, like, I feel like there's been a lot more kind of in-depth ha things happening in chapter 3 than we've had since personally uh, I like the chrome one I'm starting to think now that should go higher. Because that's a B tier for me. Um, yeah, I'm putting that one in A. That one in A. Because it, it was just, you know, it was so special to be able to join. And 
and play. Do you know what I mean? It, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Right, one, two. Uh, well, there was one more season after this, wasn't there? Is it not there? Is it none of these that I've missed one or something? I don't think it's any of these. I don't recognise any of these. No. Right, we'll move on. Uh, there is, there's got to be another season there somewhere. I don't know why I feel like there's another season, but... Anyway, um, Chapter 4, Season 1. I wasn't a fan of the original map from Chapter 4 for the first season, but this was the one where they brought the shock wave hammer in. They put in some uh, okay guns. They added the augments in for this chapter as well. Uh, it's a solid season, but it was just lacking that next step. Um, so I'm going to put that in B for me. It was okay, but it dragged. That season dragged very much because during the season ones are always like like that because they have like a winter break. So you kind of really get you don't really get a lot of content. You don't really get a lot of updates. You don't really get a lot of things happening. So you so yeah, like it, it just it dragged a little bit. But it was nice to have a new map. But at, at that point, I missed. I I think because I joined later on chapter three i didn't really get to properly appreciate chapter three's map so then when we moved on to chapter four's map i, I wasn't ready to move on yet so it was difficult for me but anyway fortnite mega chapter four season two arguably one of my favorite seasons ever and it's going straight up there in the s tier with vibing the thing that was missing in season one was added in season two and like they started off like really well anyway, all the neon stuff, all like the mega city, and all the other POIs as well. They they brought in some great POIs and it was very good. But what was also we don't realise they brought in the prequel trilogy for Star Wars into this. So they brought in like the Force abilities, brought in Darth Maul, they brought in Anakin Skywalker. They also brought in Miles Morales um, into this season uh, and. That was towards the end of the season, then, but it was huge. And they brought in some great guns like the um, Havoc Pump, which is one of my favourite guns, and if not, my favourite shotgun of all time. So that season will always be one of my most incredible memories. I remember streaming it. Uh, it was also on Twitch at this point when I streamed it. It was like one of my last streams of Twitch before I moved over to YouTube. And it was generally one of like my favourite memories of like opening day of season and landed on Mega City. It was just so much fun guys. Um this is where it kind of made things difficult for me because they went in a complete direction. I, I feel like with chapters they need to have the chapters very similar and then have a complete different like look on the next chapter. Like they kinda went like a neon vibe. Like they kinda went a bit more like medieval kind of thing for season for season one. Then they went neon. And then they went to a jungle theme for chapter season three, and I felt like this chapter was very muddled up. But I also took that chapter for granted because, like, chapter four, season uh, chapter four was an actual really, really good chapter. Like the map was so good, like it really was good. Like I still think chapter three map is probably my favourite one going, but the chapter four map was very good. Uh, this season felt like it died off a bit I was it wasn't for me I'm gonna put that in C um, yeah it wasn't really for me that one guys it, I, I felt like we could have done better yeah I, it was it was okay they did they added the mud in they had Optimus Prime in it and stuff like that but it it just no I just wasn't a fan of the POIs it wasn't really like I can understand they're doing it I think they're just going wrong about chapters in general I just think the chapters should be so if they're doing a neon one they should the whole thing should be like a neon kind of story wise for a chapter and then they can move on to something completely different because it, it just feels very like oh this bit and then that bit and yeah it's changing very quickly but then they brought in chapter four season four which was the highest one i can't remember what it was called now this actually was a very good season i actually really enjoyed chapter four season four it was a solid season they uh added so many good things into this uh personally that is a lot higher up. I honestly think it is above all these, and I think it's in the 80. I love the fact that you could like kind of heist out load of old mythic guns, and uh, then the POIs that they added was so cool. Like they they, they kind of realised that they didn't do as good with season three, and they really stepped it up in season four. And and to be fair, they set up 
the next season very well with this and uh, I think they did a great job um, they did a very good job of that but yeah chapter 4 season 4 is probably one of my favourite seasons um, if anything it's probably better than the chapter 3 season yeah they put it there yeah I definitely think that's very fair at the minute then we had Fortnite OG I'm going to shock a lot of people because I understand it was a very popular season I understand that people was very happy during this month I was not one of those people. Unfortunately for me, this season did nothing for me. I did not feel any form of enjoyment out of this season. We Don't get me wrong, we had some good games now and again. I got one or two wins. Um, but you could tell the progression of the seasons and how much better Fortnite has become because of it. But when you go back to a map that wasn't designed zero build and I'm only a zero build player there was just too much open space the loophole was absolutely tragic there was so lacking in loot I felt like I was always running around with grey guns and yeah fair enough sometimes they go a bit the other direction sometimes and it feels like there's too many legendary guns and mythic guns that's fine I get it but I don't want to be running around with grey and green guns all day it's just there's no enjoyment out of it like the whole point of like variation and getting like better guns should be a, a bit more available and it's like yeah they're saying oh yeah but then when you do get a legendary gun it becomes like a lot more valuable but after time you don't even get to properly use it because by the time you actually found a legendary gun you're towards the end of the game so it's like you want to be able to have a bit of an, a better balance than that i felt like maybe the seasons prior to that i went a bit too far on the strong guns whilst fortnite og is too far of the weak guns and just need to find a nice balance of that person but Yep, I, I wasn't a fan of Fortnite OG. I was so ready for Chapter 5 at that point. I knew they were bringing Chapter 5 out. I knew they had a, an in-game event. And the in-game event was more of an advertisement to what was coming rather than actually, you know, playing a game. Um, it was still really cool, but it was very, very short. And it was okay. Chapter 5 Season 1 is here. Uh, this is where they added attachments to the guns. Originally, I thought that was a cool idea. But... I didn't like how you had to use the mod stations. You always had to kill like one of the one of the bosses. Um, there, was, there was always so overcrowded, um, and I felt like only half the people I was able to get the guns they wanted, whilst the other half didn't really have the option. And then the guns with the attachments was all so like underwhelming because like if you didn't have the attachments, that was good for the guns. It just felt like a meta. Uh, options like they did with like, like Warzone does. I think in a way Warzone goes wrong in that sense. It's cool that they give you the option to do what you like but when you've got attachments and guns better than others you kind of have to play them and I felt like it did this but they get, the mod stations being hidden by bosses was, was not a good idea either personally. Uh, it, well, it, I wasn't that fussed about this. Either. It was okay. It was quite mid. I'm going to put that in C, in C category. It was alright though. It was okay. Um... And chapter 5, Season 2. It was better. Uh, I'll, what I liked about Season 2 was they, they fixed the mod station issue. And they put bunkers in that would come in halfway through the game. So that made it that you played throughout the game. Uh, normally, just, you know, playing your game how it is. And, uh, and then halfway through the game, these bunkers would open. And it would be the same bunkers every time. Uh, so, you know... And it made the game feel better. That, that those ads was very good. I wasn't a fan of the POIs that they added to them. Like any of them, really didn't really do out for me. Uh, I think, but the the thing that they fixed the mod station issue, and it was very good. And for that reason, I am very happy with that. Um, it was okay though. It, it's it's still quite a mid season for me. I, it was better. I could probably I could probably pass it for being in B. To be fair. Um, so yeah that's what i'll go with that but anyway for the last season we're recording on this season i can only rate this for what we've had right now we are about three and a half four weeks into this season at the minute and it is god awful when they first added it in all the cars were incredibly too strong there was no car act it made it to the point where you had where you had to use cars and the guns and the attachments from cars to fight if not you have no chance the loophole at the minute is tragic i don't really think we've got anything proper genuine i like the gatekeeper shotgun but then the reload time just always feels like it's ages they need to buff that a little bit 
like the reload time. The gun itself is brilliant, or if not, maybe add an extra slot so it's like a four bullet gun instead. I don't know. But I would kind of add it, they've removed the sniper now. Honestly, all sorts. For me personally, I think that this is the worst season we have ever had since I've played this game. I think it is absolutely awful. They tried to adjust it, they added boogie bombs in, which were a good add. But then they've removed them and put EMPs in. I think I would have preferred boogie bombs. I think boogie bombs offered a bit more of an alternative. Because you didn't have to just use them for cars. Like when you chuck the boogie bomb once someone's in a car, it brings them out so they have to dance. But I also think it's good that you can just use it in general. I think boogie bombs was a good ad, but then they've just removed them for EMPs. So I think they've nerfed all the cars, they've nerfed all the all the guns from the cars, all the attachments from the cars, and they, they still feel too strong. The fists they have had is god awful. They are too fast to be able to respond. I don't mind that they're strong, but give us a fighting chance. If you don't have the fists, you're gonna get killed by the fist. I don't like playing like that way. It ain't for me. Um They've added the tri beam late the tri beam laser gun, laser assault rifle. It is so weak, it's incredible. I don't mind that it's there. I feel like it, it's you know it's got good range, uh, but it's not too long range. It's pretty good at mid mid to short range, but it's weak as hell. You have like three shots and it needs to recharge. I just think the, the some of these weapons and some of these loopholes at the minute need adjusting. We had chug splash in the last season. Now they've removed it, like. I just felt like it's, it's, it's got progressively worse. There's a few ads. Like the Nitro Splash is phenomenal. I love the Nitro Splash. That's kind of like having um, sprints from uh, Chapter Three, Chapter Four. Sorry. Um, I love I love Nitro Splash. That is that is an excellent ad. And even the Nuka Cola is very cool. I like that as well. That's a good ad as well. But for me personally, um, this season is genuinely the worst season I've ever experienced in fortnite um and i am so ready for the next season already if not there's still time like i said uh there's still time by the time of me doing this recording we've got a lot of time left to go before that season uh is ended things could drastically change yet yeah, they could already have some good collabs coming up ahead uh and that could adjust this ch this season but currently right now we are not in a good position in fortnite we are in one of the diff most difficult positions in fortnite since i've played regularly i can't comment for previous seasons before that but for me not great but there you go guys all the seasons that i have played regularly all in a tier list for me i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like share it to friend and give it a big bag of subscribes guys and i will see you on the next one Cheer it up!